Man, I need to clear my throat. Bushing the rock, bushing the rock, bushing the rock, ha uh ha. -huh. Bushing the rock, bushing the rock, don't be silly, la la. Let's see. Alright. Are we on? I hate this crawler and this. I mean, it's so hidden. Alright, alright. Can I. Watch myself suffering? Alright, we are on. <coughs> Oops! I didn't prepare everything. Where's the dialogue? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, yesterday I couldn't sleep. Did twenty eight? Oh, we are in 28. I thought we are in 29. Jesus Christ. I have two free days. Thanks, God. Anyway, I felt I lost this day somehow. Um, yeah, yesterday I couldn't sleep. And I, I slept like at 9 p.m. I have sleep disorders. Uh, some adrenaline screw up. Not stabilized. And when I get so excited in work sometimes, I believe it's the adrenaline crap. Uh, when I get so excited, I really into the work, I get, usually I don't get excited, don't get any energy to work, but when I get really into work, I believe anger is one of the reasons. When I get really angry and I really get into it, and I'll work like six, seven, eight hours in a row, I can't sleep after that. I cannot do anything, I feel like my brain is, um, have a huge void in the middle. I'm gonna do crap. So I went to random people YouTube channels and I found someone who's streaming in there and there are some viewers and I was like, oh, wow. And you have a tutorial series and everything. And you have like 4K viewers because you have a good tutorial, I guess. I need to make tutorials, I believe, if I want other viewers or viewers. And I told him about the website. Hopefully you will come today. Anyway, did I open this to chat with you guys? Sorry about that. So let's take a look. I'm cleaning my glasses, preparing my coffee, opening my soda can. Preparing the day. Preparing the long day, which I wake up in the middle. And I slipped from the middle and everything is horrible. So today we will try... What should we do? What should we do? I done a lot behind the camera. Uh, mostly related to the Arabic font and color and size and the capability to add the size and the color on the map simulator. And here we have a new page that you can assign colors and font size and use the colors in the um, system duo thing. Thanks God they are the same names in um, X and A color. And the uh, text effect depends on the game, like does the text shake, does the text come letter by letter or word by word. So all of these are fixed. We need to do something like text corp, that we cut the text out of the boundaries. And I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, I might need to make a combo box or a list box for the dialogues, dynamic dialogues. We made a, di a dynamic dialogue, but we almost there. Let's try to finish it. Uh, so we made a dialogue that load how many choices we have and make labels and it's crappy looking. And we need to make the dialogues do something. So let's take a look on the dialogue first, just for the viewer sake. <coughs> oh, ah, 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 before I work, I need to do something first. Before I work, let me wait till it load everything. 
Uh, we need to turn on the timers. No, not you. Uh, whoa, 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 why, why, why it's messy? Why the thing is messy? Oh, because the stupid thing that I was playing with yesterday. The problem is if I deleted the icon from here, he deleted them from the other desktop. So I'm going to move them later. So we need to work 360 minutes. That will never happen today. I will be happy if I can finish three hours today, but let's try to push the rock till we finish six hours. So I get in a sleepless mode and cannot sleep tonight and maybe I will sleep the whole tomorrow and after two days I will wake up in the early morning. Good plan, good plan. So here <clears throat> we have few issues. Um, one of the issues the frame when i print something on the frame it add to, i i I've at first fix it by adding two lines but later on because the arabic lines way how the lines work is different than english the arabic one screwed up so i, I need to fix how the dialogue is printed on the gui so what can i do with that is to add a fixed coordinate for each menu component that dedicated to show where the hell does the font start. The problem with that once again is the Arabic starts from the right, it doesn't start from the left. So I, I need to work out on some of this stuff. So let's try to add that. So this is a new task that I need to add. Oh, here it is. Look at that. So this is number one. So the the frame is consisted of three objects. This thing and this thing. This one just for cosmetic. And maybe this is not the best frame for the choices thing. Anyway. Anyway, in my stupid system, the GUI, we have something like templates, and you can make them out from nowhere, like in the test game. Like for example, let me free our brethren. Oh, I forgot, I made them vi invisible too. Uh, one, zero, one, two, okay, okay. It must be, I need to make something that do the counter somehow. So we have here several GUI problems or GUI examples. One of the problems I have is I need to make scrollable text and here we can text the test the test uh, ah god we need to test the text wrap uh, in this area so we need to find a way to core the text so we only print it inside the area and look at that the text wrap for the Arabic doesn't work in a good way I mean it's working in here but in here it's screwed up so there are many many issues many 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 issues here we can type text not very smooth you know if you worked on mono game and try to take a text input you will know how annoying it is uh buttons and whatsoever uh if i drag it do the old uh, pe draw, uh text drawing and it's useful for testing for example in the arabic one it show me the encrypted language how it look like so anyhow we can create these guys on the fly as i said by calling these things so we need to do some changes. We need to do some changes. First of all, let me remove our friend. Wait a second. What happened if I made the main one invisible? What will happen? 
Oops. So if we made them, uh, the frame invisible, that doesn't mean the whole thing would be invisible. Okay, let me test something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that was a surprising sneeze. So we can actually do something called group invisible. So let's do that. Uh, is it static? Let's see. Group set visibility. Group number zero. False. And let's make number one too. I want to just... It's a good thing to test it. I never tested it actually before. So let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, it works. It make everything invisible. So, okay, so as I said, let's try to add a fixed um, integer to represent the shifted X and Y for uh, the dialogue. <coughs> Where should I put it? Actually, that will require a lot of changes, I believe. Unless if I make them only for the printable. Hmm. So we have something called printable. That's mean the menu component have a dialogue. So I shouldn't add it in the father. We should add it to the interface. Hmm. But the silly interface doesn't like uh, variables we need to make properties so int set uh, dialog shift x dsx um, and int set dsy So now he will tell me the list of, come on, come on, the list of printable things that doesn't support this thing. Oh, it's a good time to have a sip of my coffee, I guess. Um, no dice. Let's go and take a look. <coughs> The first one is the label. Oh, we have a lot. Not only the label. So, int dsx. Was it dsx? DS, no, x, not k. dsy. And just for the love's sake, we initialize them so he doesn't cry. And here, uh, public int set dsx get get dsx <coughs> set dsx math min value with Mm, not all components have width, which is a little bit lame. Oh well. All right, where were we? Let's do it for the Y. I don't care if you're playing or not. I don't want anyone to interrupt me. Not interrupt me. Attempt me to go to the dark side. Alright. So we have the label. We have... The, the easiest way to show all of them. Let's just run the sucker. 
And he told me, ah, where are you going, mister? You have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do. No, no, let's one by one, one by one. One by one. Oh my god, where are we? Text. Let me see. I don't want these guys to be here. Uh, I should add them to what these guys are doing in here. Get out. These guys are ancient history. Oh wow, a lot of them, damn it. A lot of them. Alright. Do I see said dialogue twice? Mm. Overload. Is this printable? Yes, I'm printable. Oh, here you go. The end and the crap. Hmm. I need to fix that. Now we need to load um, the variable. The problem is how to set it without screwing up the whole fiasco. Oh yeah, it, it shouldn't be a parameter. It shouldn't be a parameter. It should be fixed. Based on the component. All right. So now we go to the mini component and tell him to shift it with this value. Control M. Oh, let's close all of them so we can see the through and have a sip of coffee. Before it gets a little bit bored. I mean cold. I mean... Alright. So here we have the Arabic section. This is the non-draggable section. This is the Arabic section, which will I will ignore for now. But in here, we need to add the shift. Uh, I really need to make uh, what do you call it a reference in here so let me call it I printable current I printable uh, component. Fine, good, okay. So the C I back or oh, whatever. And shit. Give me a second. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh da di do di di. All right. All right. All right. C valuable is I printable. Aina and Telchvil. Aina and. I shouldn't speak Arabic in here. C L. So, yeah, 
how you can see there's a little bit few issues. All what I'm trying to do is to replace this sucker with this sucker. To make it easier to see. Because we are going to use them everywhere. Yes, it might seem it will add more variables to the code, which will make it harder to read, but it will make it easier to what? Easier to what? Easier to write. Right? Right. So let's add here set dx. And let's add here. Set DSY. Alright, last step is we will go to the frame if I can find him and change the position I didn't add the position for the Arabic. I will do it next, no problem. Um MC DSX is equal let's say to 10 mc dsy is equal to let's say the same size of fc1 great um why my life is complicated What's the size of? Oh, it depends on the texture. <sighs> so let's make, um, a number from our asses 75 so let's test this and see how many crashes we will get in the same run uh, we didn't even start damn it <coughs> where for the mother of God mother of God mother of God yeah, I cannot do that, can I? Can I? Can I? No, what? Um. Whatever, let's just make a label. Oh, dude, don't do that to me. No, do that to me. There is a solution. But I really don't want to do it. Is to assign it every time we are going to use it. Like assign it here. And here. And everywhere. And here. And more for the draggable bar too. Any fast and quick solution? I'll drink the rest of my coffee before it gets even colder.
you know, sometimes I don't have time for crap. How does he know? Uh, I never seen this kind of message before. Um, we learn every we learn something new every day, don't we? Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me I must call the base. Keyword, this or base expected. There is no argument given to corresponding to the required formal parameter G name. I hate this crap. All one I do is something called foo. No, not called foo. It's called horse. What does it call? Something horse. I forgot. I don't care. I don't care about you. I don't care uh, please work there's no argument given to correspond to the required formal parameter Wow, finally. Of course, fucking crash. Oh wow, he really tried to load the thing. He's so serious about it, unlike me, I'm so... Whatever, whatever, right. Thank you. Look at that, so now it's printed here. Wow, 75 is way too far. Let's make it 35. <coughs> so you see, because I didn't shift it in the draggable face, it's printed on the top. So there you go, there you go, much better. Maybe, no, it's perfect, perfect. Because this thing, I'm going to ask some artists to make better frame crap. And then I can make my own Timberlates. This is a Timberlate, by the way. The whole thing, the whole thing is created in two steps. The first step is the data itself, the simulator, which we are going to work on, on really soon. That's why I'm loading it. No, I don't want to edit the file. Screw you. I want to add the dialogue. <coughs> um, <coughs> so the dialogue in here and the choices in here in both languages and if I'm working on a game that have five languages pray to the god that the guy who's going to add all the text won't lose his uh, head 
So in here we can do the font setting and change the color and the font size and everything. And not for the choices, unfortunately, only for these guys. So that's why the first one, it was blue. I changed it into purple. It's blue. Uh, we are going to try. Let me close it without saving. I'll click on it again. Oh, no, it won't load. I must close it without saving. So, oh wow, what have I done? It's still purple. But it was blue. Unless if it was purple and for some reason I closed the demon thing. Damn it. Anyhow, 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 anyhow. These uh, choices, as you can see, free. They appear in there. Good day. How about you? Oh, good. How about you? Not good. It could be better. Get lost, old man. Uh, before I do anything, let me test the Arabic. Hmm. Good. Oh, you. Oh, you. Uh, where is the stupid fool game? I don't believe it. It's not even added in the... In the priority list, and yet... I mean, seriously, dude. Um... Yeah, it hasn't been added. So let me fix that first before I do anything else. Uh, menu component. The Arabic section. I just noticed I need to enlarge my code to make it clearer for the viewers. Um, <coughs> here, let's add... Plus C I B C and here. Wait, plus or minus? <sighs> Let's make it plus and C. Ta da! But hmm. Maybe I need to increase it a little bit for the Arabic sake. It needs a little bit notch, a little bit, just a little bit. For the Arabic sake, for the Arabic sake. And we need to... Hmm. Hmm. It starts on the edge, not good. Here it's good, but hmm. Is it because hmm? I don't want to add one for Arabic and one for English. Yeah, it will be um, it will be a disaster. Uh, let me see the other buttons. Do, do I need to do the adjustments in here or should I just keep testing the things? I mean, I shouldn't care too much about... Mm, yeah. Let me go to the label. No, not the label. The 17 thing. Maybe it should be 25. Wait, 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 wait. You, 25 too. Much better. Maybe I'll make it 30. Come on. 30, I said. 
much better, much better, much better, much better. Yeah, the, the labels look ugly like hell. But what to do? What to do? What to do? If, if I want to make it look really good, I should separate the, the, the position of X and Y for Arabic and non Arabic. Maybe I will do that behind the scene, but for now, because it won't take that much time. It will take a little bit more variables, but who cares? Wait, wait, wait. Yes. So we made this. And we tested it and we are happy with it. Now we need to do this thing. So this thing is a little bit difficult, hopefully not, but we will give it our best. We need to implement the tags for the choices. So the tags are dialogues, generator, no, not dialogue, sorry, delegate generator. It will take a text and generate a delegate based on, hmm, Maybe I need to make a list of delegates. Can I make a list of delegates? That would be weird. Yeah, we will try to do that. We will try to do that. So, for example, uh, let's invent a keyword to make the choice. Harm the player? No, ignore that jump to the next dialogue so what we will do we will call it dialogue and the name nbc 1k2 see my column save so what's going on let's go to the dialogue here so we can read it easier so this one says good day how are you doing and nbc 1k have choices here the first choice is good how about you not good it could be better and get lost old man the result should go to nbc k nbc 1k 2 3 and 4 so if we said good how about you he should answer glad to hear that oh what's wrong and respect your elder so let's try to do that step by step so c1 will go to k2 and this one will go go to k3 and this one will go to k4 Oh, right. Uh, save. Close. Make um, a backup file. The last thing you want to do is to repeat the whole work on the game file. Uh, this is the whole data of the game and it's 18 kilobytes 80 kilobytes of raw metadata is a little bit a lot a little bit a lot and this is only for testing purposes we don't have uh, real skill systems and skill trees and all the crab and weaponries and items I wonder how large the game will be after I make a whole RPG game or something with quests and dialogues and stuff. Woo, it will be damn huge. It will be damn huge. Uh, I might consider compression and uh, decryption for the file. But for now, for now, let's not pass our dream and focus on realities. <coughs> First of all, let's see if the file won't crash. For the God's sake, alright. Oh wow, the front uh, the pink font is unreadable unreadable so for cosmetic changes let's change that I don't like it 
Yeah, the color thing is not perfect. I need to play with it a little bit more. Uh, I didn't play with it that much. Yeah, I like it every time I load the campaign and the map and the beholder just po popping out his head from the, the, the form. Trying to sneak, uh, take a peek on what I'm doing. Like, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, uh, this one sitting, we wanted blue. We wanted Azura, blue, something. Dark blue, dark cyan. Dark, yeah, dark blue, dark, 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 dark blue. All right. Uh, how to save? Save. Yeah, you might ask, isn't there an easier way to do changes and stuff? Actually, the game engine have the capability to save, but I never ever want to use it. I don't want to screw myself up. Because the engine, the way how, how it deals with data is different than, than that thing. It loads some of the data differently. It treats some of the data differently. Uh, it, it's a complex. It's a complex process. And the thing is, even if you take it back to here, it re-engineer the data to fit the simulator, because some of the data is required in here for the user to edit. Some of them not. Some of the data required in there, and it's generated from the same data. But this guy doesn't need them at all. So. Where were we? Yeah, where were we? So the font color is working. Now we need to go to the choices. So to make the things easier, I'm going to close the whole suckers thing. So I can focus on only the things I need to look at. Uh, I might need the game, uh, the game I and I. Because my work is uh, hypered between uh, hard code and data driven. Oh wow, it looks so cute when everything is closed. Uh, I will organize it better and make a template for it. This file is the guy who is handling all the initializes and the data driven BART. Oh sorry, the hard code BART of the game. The data driven BART is in the game file. The hard coded BART should be all of it in here. Not in the test game, not anywhere. Yeah, there are a lot of crap in here, you can see. But this is just for testing purposes. Later on, I'm going to make a section to initialize the, these guys, the, the menu and everything. But anyhow, where were we? Once again, let's open the S dialog, the one that we are working on that give you the choices and load the choices up to four. And if there is more, it will ignore them. So you shouldn't use it for dialog system that have more than four choices. And here we are looking at the uh, choice section or the choice So where were we? So we have one tag here, but I'm thinking to, yeah, the tag will be get loaded and everything. Can I do this? Can I do this? Please, please. Can I do this? List. Man, scary. Uh, I believe it's small. Let me take a look on my favorite class and my nemesis, the animated vertical. Yeah, it's a small figure. But wait, does it even make sense? I mean, just think return a type. What, what should I call it? 
Um, what did I call uh, these guys? Get away from my solder, dang it. I call it tag function. Um, I know I, I I don't think this is working at all. I mean did this look weird and ugly? I'm sure there's a replacement. Um Do I wanna make actions? Let's take a look on actions. The actions live or resident in the result animation, my second close friend and I hate his guts. Oh, I made it into a separate class. Yeah, I can make an action. Should I make an action? <sighs> Let's make an action. So what do we need in action? We might need the choice ID. And we might need, what do we need? I, I, I'm not sure how the whole thing would work because This dialogue should be chosen by the controller, by the player himself. For example, imagine we have four players playing the game and they can do choices. I'm not sure how the whole network ID will work behind the scene. But what if we have a split screen and someone using a joystick and someone using the mouse? All right. And these choices might be not even... I don't think choices and dialogue can be used outside of the GUI world. Because if it's outside the GUI world, then I will use skills and everything. But for some reason, I believe I need to take the controller in the, um, in the whole mess. So the controller is the guy who's going to click on the cab and the mouse usually belongs to controller zero. Because some of the games like strategy games and things, yeah. We cannot always believe that the first user is the guy who's making the choices, can we? Can we? And maybe not the controller, maybe the creature itself uh that's the controller to, um, that's why i said the controller because the controller can represent more than one creature or one thing so how can i do harms and do damage and do splash screen effects and stuff if i don't know where is the guy living at the GUI system is kind of separated from the map world. It doesn't know which map it is because it's a GUI after all. I mean, hey, it's a little bit complicated, isn't it? Because the whole game engine can support more than one active map in the same time. If there's a game that have several maps that things work and you don't see the maps and the maps are loaded, the GUI is doesn't care. Actually, it's live in a fake map. It's live in a foo map. Uh, doesn't care. It doesn't care which map. It only appears on the screen. So it's. I'm not sure how to. For now, let's make it as a creature, but. This is another question. When you click on the stupid thing, how does it know which creature is doing the thing? 
Alright, controller. Controller. Uh, what should I call it? C target. And then the next one. I can cheat a little bit, can I die? Here is the, the string builder for whatever, the, um, the guy that will initialize the tag will be. But I need to know the choice. Do I need to know the choice? Why do you want to know the choice? The choice has a script. Hmm. Maybe I need to find a script. No. Maybe I need to change the choices. No. Maybe. Yeah, let's try to send the dialogue. But can I use that? How can I use that? I mean, what what's the dialogue? The dialogue is just a bunch of strings that show you blah 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 on all languages and have a list of choices. Do I really need the dialogue? I don't think so. Unless if I want to turn the color of the dialogue into red all of a sudden, then I need the, the key of the dialogue. But I could do it in a different way by sending the DID or the dialogue ID. So screw that. What next? Um, we need a name. Oh. Why is not happy? Oh, he need types only. <sighs> uh, tag AR. Now, how do I, I initialize him? I don't know. Just kidding kind of haven't done that for a while yeah i need something like this why the token has been zero twice i don't know Excuse me, I want to take a look on the whole mess. Oh la la, this is the result animation. Oh, this is, ah, this is, um, uh, an interface. I shouldn't call that thing I tag. It's not an interface. Let's call it tag function. All right, let's close our close friends. And let's go to the game.
Oh wow, I didn't finish the side tag. Seriously, dude? Uh, so this is the single tag initialize, all tag initialize. Oh wow. So I need to make two... Um, this one will go through all the tags and this one will make the it will generate the, the the actions but what's this oh boy oh boy oh Uh, result animation tags initialize. Uh, did I screw the, the word with the many eyes? And region. So, the ho most of the code of this page is just. No, actually, this part is bigger. So, let's make the second part. Alright. Because sooner or later I'm going to make this area as a template for new games. Every new game I need to do mo redo most of these crafts because this is a game engine. It can support different kind of games. It can make fighting games, ha ha ha, uh, the collision. I want to see how can I deal with the collisions and hit detection. It will be so fun, I'm telling you. Uh, the symbol tabs, platform, RPG, different tabs. I mean, uh, some of the companies, like the, the guys who made Bastion, I forgot the company name, try to innovate and make different things. And they're doing good, they're doing good, they're doing good. So here, more work, let's talk. Uh, choices, tags, initialize. Alright, I'm not sure to be honest how to start because this part was a headache. It took me around a month. No, more. More than a month. To finish the whole system, how it works together. It was a headache. One of the most difficult parts i ever done in this game engine. Not only this part of the code, half of these classes in this folder are related to this sucker. This is just the, uh, the, the console that the, the end programmer who is dealing with the game code will deal with. This part is fixed. It's the engine part. Happy you. Good for you. Not really because I'm not going to make this one as an open source project. Alright. So let's try to go over all the choices tags and... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, this guy will call this guy, I guess. Yeah, this guy will call this guy. Okay, 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 okay. All choices tags. Initialize. And you call you. Because this one is called by the test game and it do everything that I need to do. Later on, it uh, I need to make a function to generate um, the timers and oh God. and the dialogues and the, the menu components and it get called with another function like this. Let me see, 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 let me see. I could do this. No, not, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, for each, nah, this is annoying, this is annoying, later on, initialize the dialogues and choices of the current Campaign and game, um, main game crap. You know, why do you kill yourself with a lot of crap? Why, why, why? 
Uh, later on, I need to unload a lot of these crafts because I have a, comp a campaign system and each campaign has its own separate set of dialogues and crap. So, uh, the system is not ready because as you can see, it's under construction. It's not completely connected and implemented. So, we need to finish this part first and a lot of parts after and happy, happy after. Let's... <laughs> it seems the adrenaline from yesterday is still on, eh? How did I save the crap, damn it? Game file, it's your time to appear. And the silver screen. Ah, okay. On the silver screen, the dim gold something. Where are we? Um, for each key value bear. String in dialogue. Uh, DK in game core. Current game. Uh, core, I said. Core, I said. Current game. Dialogues. And for each key value pair string choices. Uh, CK and DK value choices dictionary and now we do the single initialize which will do the um, generate generate of the generate <sighs> and I need to connect it to the mask like and everything one step at a time, one step at a time. Public, static, void, single choice tag, initialize. I should change these guys' names into result animation tag. Screw it. Screw it. Ah, let me fix the builder. Okay, this is a little bit scary. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit scary. So what we have here is a string. I said scary, but not that much. Come on. And let's call it tag. And here, single choice tag initialize. CK tag all value tag. All right. So we have the tag, we have the silly thing, we have the silly thing. So let's take a look on the tag again. We load the campaign, this is the campaign and this is all the maps in the campaign. Man, a lot of crap have to be done, a lot of crap have to be done. Script wizard, background settings, script wizard dialogue, load the game dialogues, load the stupid thing. And wait a second. Oh, it chooses the first one on default. Thanks God. All right, I thought that this thing shows everywhere. I was like, almost got a heart attack. So this is the tag. This is how the tag will look like. So we need to separate it by semicolons and add a new ones on the list every time. Wait a second. Um, yeah, yeah, um, how do we fire the thing only by choosing the choice? Of course it should be, okay, okay, you're thinking way too far, okay, okay, so what do we need, what do we need, let's steal it from here, I don't want to just think, we need a reference for the tokenizer, my tokenizer my humble tokenizer what's this why am i ignoring the condition what the hell oh the condition is loaded in a different part yeah yeah okay no problem no problem do you know what's code this guy let's go this guy let's do it and k is equal to zero we need a string 
to separate the parts of the different tags so um, tag bart and then we say tag bart is equal to not yet uh, time's up i need to take a break for 10 minutes let's take a break in 10 minutes and i will come back and return so let me bring the clock that's Linking on my eye trying to blind me and telling me times are up a few minutes ago. When are you going to stop? Damn and knowing God for nothing Little app or applet or whatever it's called. Where's the right back here? So let's take a break for 10 minutes And sorry about that, but I need to have some fresh air and Less talk and more walk and away from screen, you know the rest.
And we are back. Oh, one minute left. Hmm. Ten minutes break. Ten minutes break. I have to take ten minutes break. I have been told about Golden Road. That will only end with a smile. I have been told about Golden Road. Required an endurance of arrival. What am I saying? Alright. This minute is taking too long. Way too long. So, where were we? First of all, let's close this beer right back. Usually when I don't close it, I'm going to stay 30 minutes talking to the screen. No one notify me. And it's, oh, it's 60 minutes. I'm not, not going to work 10 minutes and take a break again. Screw that. So what we are going to do, actually I'm going to add a notification for myself in here. If you want a better um, positioning for Arabic font, make a different ESX um, DSY set for the Arabic font so because components doesn't look symmetry all the time Especially I want to make a rad, groovy, gooey looking. They look not symmetric and whatever. So I need to make a different start position for the Arabic and English. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to say, hey, start from the right. It requires some, some good amount of calculation. It's annoying. It's annoying like hell. So we are trying to make choices, return a new dialog. And to do that, we need to activate our implement uh, choices tags. And we are working on that. Then implement a way to reload the di uh, new dialog on dialogs MC. Uh, so we need to do these steps before we can do this one. Actually, this one is equal to these two. And after we finish these three, actually, we will finish this one as well automatically. Uh, for more fancy ones, we will need combo box and list box. But to be honest, let's make this one way later. I mean, this one is not needed for... I'm trying to finish as much as possible for the Arabic game jam that was started in September 2. So I'm trying to finish as much as possible on the game engine because it will be the engine of choice for my entry. <sighs> so we are going to try to do these three steps today. Uh, phone setting for Arabic... Uh... This one, I might request different sizes for Arabic fonts. So, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm checking the old things that I left behind. Oh, screw this shit. The, this problem, it took me more than six attempts and I couldn't solve it in an easy way without hard coding some crap. Anyway, 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 I should focus on the given task instead of t taking an over look on everything I've done. By the way, this is the work of only this month. 
I'm quite happy actually to this month I done a lot. I'm quite happy with the whole cab I'm doing. So wait wait wait. So we are going to do um a guy that try to determine the the places of the commas. Uh let me see. Something like this. I noticed there is um, a taboo in my code. This F is not connected with this one. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is an escape uh, function. If the the tag is completely empty it doesn't do anything but this is choices shouldn't have empty tags uh, maybe if it's an empty tag it will close we will implement that later so uh, we could um, let me think Yeah, we could do something like this. If tag is equal to empty, return. But later on, make it close the dialog. So it's like the, the exit um, choice for the dialog. Let me stir my coffee before it gets cold. You don't want to drink coffee with powder. And it doesn't have even sugar, so it's. I believe it's harder to melt. No, it, that's illogical, because the water is ah uh, school chemistry. Let's focus on coding. Tag Bart. Uh, why am I doing this? I said, steal it. Steal it. So if. The tag bar, which is equal to hmm, tag, is not null, then do the crap. Uh, here we need to make a switch based on the first word of the tag, so or the tag bar. Peak. Peak or token? Mm, peak or token? Peak or token? Token will, will get rid of the word. And I don't think I need the word. Let's make it token. Uh, tag Bart. Oh wait, we need that inner reference. Ref Z. Uh, space case mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's steal it dialogue break default I don't need a break for the default but let's leave it. Okay, okay, screw it. Okay, seems it need a break. Screw me. So I have many problems in here. One of the problems is what if I found more one dialog um, tag? Does that mean I need to jump to both of them? But for now, for now, for now, let's ignore that problem. 
But let's make a note out of it. Let's make a note out of it. What if there is more than one tag that starts with dialog keyword? Maybe I need to prevent adding it. That's the easiest way to deal with it and give a warning message. Oh, you. Oh, sorry. I should be here. So let's try to add. Silly me. Where, where, where can I add this stupid thing? I cannot add it anywhere, silly you, because you didn't add a reference. So we need a reference here. Uh, choice. C. And here we send CK value. So um, C. It's protected. Uh, we need to access this sucker. So, yeah, let's access this sucker. Man, I hate doing this. I really hate doing this. Um, either I will do a function that will add an action here. Oh, I will just return the whole list. But I really hate doing this. I prefer to do it this public and not doing this, but oh well. I mean, juggling with references everywhere is just annoying like hell. And I hate it if it's looked like a function too. Because if I do it like a function like this, I cannot debug, make a breakpoint, and check what the hell is this. Uh, but there, there are ways. There are ways. Uh, first of all, we need to add a controller. How can I do that? No, th th this is the crap. This is the crap. This is the crap. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. I'm sorry about that. A little bit confused. Um... Something like this? Yeah, something like this. I forgot that the function calls in the controller. City fucking you. City fucking you. Alright. So when we call the function, we should send the controller and send a string? What do I need the string for? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm screwing up a little bit because I didn't design that on paper. I'm just doing it on the fly. For your entertainment sakes. No, not really. Just because I'm a lazy bastard. I don't need a string, do I? But I might need the controller. Yeah, I don't need a string. I might need a controller and I might need something else. The, we can access the creature that you're controlling. But maybe I need the map that the creature... No, I can access that through the controller too.
the long short answer we don't need a sink All right, so actually the controller is useless in this part uh, for the dialogue, but let's try um, shit. because this is a dialogue related, we need a component. We need a component actually. How? Why? What? Okay, let's look at from the other side of the uh, coin. I'm shaking. I know. For example, this code I don't I don't know when. Oh my god, no. Oh god, I love you. No, no, this is the initialized part. When I move. Wow. I screwed up the movement somehow. How in the hell did I screw up the movement? Ladies and gentlemen, we screwed up the movement. I don't know how, I don't know when. But the movement is not working. Freaking A. Um, and yeah. Uh, the tags. We screwed up the tags somehow. Uh, what did I do in this code? The only thing I done is the token. I removed it from here. It was token zero. Hooray. Hooray. To, to be honest, I, I, I'm going to ignore it. I'm not going to ignore it. Not in the mode. Not in the mode. And we have things to do in here. I don't know how did I screw it. Um, the second thing I did was... Yep, it's in my head. I can I change my head? I want to fix it. All right, let's try to fix it. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! I'm not sure where to go. I'm completely not sure where to go. The animation is working, but the tags are not working. Who's calling the tags? Beats me. So this is initialized. So in other words, um, Where is the game file? Where is the game file? Yep. I'm losing it. I'm losing it.
Yeah, the tag is not fired. If the tag fires, it should detect it in here. Or the action, I mean. Uh, yeah, if you barred on me, I'm going to try to fix this in 10 minutes. If I fail, I will, I will just ignore it and do it behind the scene later on. So we need to go to the creature object. We go to the default action condition activator. Good luck finding it through the sea of Damon. Damon. Damn it functions. Default action activator or action ac active action active uh, god. Oh yeah, I changed it into three different functions to detect the um, conditions first and cancel it if... Mm, mm. So this one... I'm starting getting tired of something now. Is it the lack of sleep yesterday or is it the sudden caffeine? uh turn off activation whatever so this is where i'm looking at oh man it will check every time now if it is idle if it's fucking not working if it's fucking it's kind of hard to debug this part screw you let's see so, um, here, the creatures, a real worker, focus a little bit, Th this is the creature object. <sighs> and this one? Yeah, yeah. This one should coming from the class, no? So let's go to the class place. Creature AR. Creature AR. Mm, yeah, this is the class, not the object. Action fucking A. It's in the result animation. The result animation live where? In the action condition? In the action condition. Uh, action condition AR. So when he's walking, good, thanks God. Oh God. Ah, where is the walking one? Well, this is the walking. He have animation condition. No condition value side result animation on the right side one result animation but no freaking tag no 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 this is the side tag we need the result the the left side and the right side yep there it is move x for eight there is a tag how can I check the tag function? Uh oh. No tag function. Mm -hmm. So the tag function are not the size. Our sign. Do you see how complex this damn thing is? If you, you, you cannot grasp how deep this thing goes, then good for you. Good for you. Good for you. 
Alright, so the guy who assigned the suckers is not assigning them accordingly. The funny part is the only thing I did. Oh. I see. I removed this one uh, and I thought it was redundant. And it wasn't. I could do this. Beak. Then this thing will be redundant. Fuck me. I shouldn't d delete anything without thinking. Nope. Uh, even with beak it doesn't work. My mistake. My mistake. I wasted a lot of time just... Because I thought this one is redundant. Then actually this one is redundant. <sighs> so we wasted around 10 minutes because I deleted something that I thought was redundant. And actually I was, but it wasn't the first one. Are we done now? Can I go back to the task in a minute? And ma 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 I forgot what I was. Coffee. Let's <laughs> Oh, uh, no sugar, damn it. Yeah, I got out of sugar a few days ago. That's why we have soda, not that soda, beside it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we are trying to assign a dialogue. I mean, a, sh a tag to the choices to change the dialogue. The first step we need to do, which is kind of funny, is to make an interface. Yep, you heard me right. Make an interface. I'm thinking about the name and I cannot figure out a good name for it. Do you know that the choices in different games like um, Mass effect dialogue choices. Actually, I was talking about this two years ago when I made the symbol GUI crap. And I was saying, oh, we have some examples. Like, we, I was using my laptop, and the, the, fan, the, the fan of the laptop was really close to the microphone, and it was louder than my own voice. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make timbalates for the dialogue that have the dialogue in here. This is the main dialogue and the choices. Depends on the game how I like to do it. I want to make separate menu component that represent this crap. Yes, the testing one I'm doing is so crappy because I'm not an artist. I'm not GUI UX design. And you can see there's color. I didn't implement color for the choices, but eh, what to do? Maybe it's a tag. Maybe I can make it into a tag to change the color of the choice. I could do that. Or be less lazy and do it in in here to add another show. Like here for the dialogues, I make another tab for the choices. Oh God, I hate this. A lot of work, a lot of fucking work, a lot of fucking work. Oops. So we are trying to do something like this. Choices that when you select one of them, it upload the dialogue. So what we are going to do, we are going to make an interface to represent this template of dialogue. And let's call it, I don't know. Uh, I suck. Dialogue MC. Whatsoever. So the I dialog MC have very, 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 very ugly format. I don't like it. Yeah, there are two types of programmers. 
the 99% of world grammars like the 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 the, the, the parentheses look like this and I hate its guts. I hate the look of it. I can't even think when I see it. And that's why I'm unpopular in teams. They really hate my format. So I used to make two uh, files for the codes. One for me, the parentheses look like this, but I submitted to the team after I changed them back like this and submit that code. And every time I take their, their code, I change it like this and make it my own copy. A uh, difficult process, but much easier than hearing the complaints, to be honest. So, the iDialog must have um, a function that reset the dialog. Set that. Oh, that will be confusing. Uh, next dialog. So our is dialog is an I dialog. Fuck me. Alright, so we need to, ooh, so we need to set this function, and let's put it here, and let's make it void. So you see, I'm doing some crap here to. Um, hmm, to uh, set the. The choices. Uh, I fear I need to delete them. Let me think for a second. Uh, we need another function. Yeah. Uh, we need another function. Let's put it here. Let me close this sucker. I. So because you are going to reuse this code. Oh man, this is annoying. Let me think for a second. Sorry about that. Um, no, the, the the ID is the same thing. Okay. 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 okay, okay. You see here we are setting the choices, colors, and size. I done that behind the scene. Uh, why am I not comfortable with the code I'm going to write? I'm not sure. Uh, public void. It's almost the same code of the next dialog, but let's 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 do it. No problem. Uh, set mm, dialog. What to call it, dang it? The names are okay, are running away because set dialog will change the object, the dialog itself, and yeah. Your fresh dialog. So this thing should replace this thing. Oh, 
Why the fuck you're not happy? Give me a break. I'm 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 losing it. I'm fucking okay. Take it easy. This is static. This is not static. Hmm. Wait. Sigh. 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 Uh, this thing is consistent of several menu components, but it doesn't have a body of its own. It doesn't have something to represent itself as a component. Sigh, sigh. Let me think for a second. Main no. Wait, then I can't point at it at all from the... yeah, that's a bugger. Hmm. The only way I can point at it is by using the frame ID. But the frame ID is not dialog in C. So you're telling me there is no object that represents the sucker? Yeah, there is no object that represents the sucker. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear any voice from the chat. Hey, Brio, is, is that you? Or you? Because the same, then I, I'm sorry, I couldn't pronounce your name. Brio, Brio, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm stuck in the problem, as you can see. See, this is a problem, see? This thing is called dialog, or S dialog. It's a timbalate which it doesn't have any kind of object to represent it. I sometimes wanna kill myself. It consists of different labels for the choices and the frame, but it doesn't have an object by itself to represent itself in the priority list. So if I want to change the dialog, I cannot point at it from outside sources. The best way to solve this problem is to make a fake object to handle this guy. I don't like this crap. So what we are going to do Actually, we don't need this guy. Do I must override the sucker every time? I don't believe it. So... Oh, you love games? I don't know why. What the hell? Why the chat thing doesn't have a sound? Why did it break again? Well, everyone loves games, but creating games is not as easy as playing them. And making a game engine is not as easy as making them as well. Oh, now it's working. Well, thank you. Thank you. Sakazaki. Why do you guys have weird names? Thank you. I'm doing my best. So we are going to make a fake object. So we can point at this timbalate and change its dialogue when we do choices. C 
So we need only the ID and maybe the J image because I'm not sure all my games will support the white image or not. Uh, no, no layer. Do I need the layer? Yeah, maybe I need the layer. Maybe I need the layer. Yeah, let's take a layer. I'm doing one of the biggest new pro uh, mistakes. Um, making the parameters name without the, the variable name. It's just wow, wow. Layer byte. So this guy will fake a lot of crap. It will send uh, to the pace the ID. It doesn't have a dialog by itself, so no. Oh, if I do null, it might screw me big time. It might screw me big time. <sighs> Yeah, let me send it as well. Sazaki so is a family name of a team. The king of the fighters games. You can check it. Oh, King of Fighter. I'm not a big fan of King of Fighter. Played it a little bit. Uh, it's it's kind of like a combination of range attacks and melee attacks in a fighting game. That kind of aspects I don't like a lot. But uh, it's, it's kind of close to Street Fighter. And no, I'm not a big fan of Street Fighter either. I played it. I can play it with the Indian guy. I like fighting games, by the way, especially the ones from Namco and Guilty Gear. Uh, one of the best fighting games I like is Tekken. Tekken 3, 6, 7, 5. All of them are great. E even 2, even though I played it only twice. It was a little bit wacky. Fi 2D fighting games, I like Guilty Gear. I like Guilty Gear a lot, especially Slash. Unfortunately, it's Japanese only. Why am I talking about fighting games? Oh well. Like Mishima, eh? Like the Mishima family in Tekken. Where were we? Yes, the, the group number. Uh, false. Alright. Uh, this compiler will be the end of me. This compiler will be the end of me. So. Oh, wait, 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 this is not in its position. All right. Now let's create a fake Um, I can add it immediately, but let's, let's make one, let's make one, let's make one, let's make one. Um, S dialog MC, S D M C is equal to new and it's the same ID same g name so it doesn't cry if it's not and then it will try to print a null thing and screw him a lot because this thing is printable so it will try to print it oh shit give me a second give me a second um 
I will try to remove the eye printable from here and see it will try to print the frame itself. Okay, okay, okay. One step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. Why wow, you're not happy again? Oh, I need to think. Uh, you like Uncharted? I don't know what's that game. By the way, uh, from 2006 to 2011, I didn't play any game. And from, no, sorry, from 2006. Sorry, sorry, sorry. From 2004 to 2007, I cut the, the, the video games. And then from 2010 to 2016. No, 15. I stopped playing video games too. So, I kind of, there is a lot of games that I have no clue about. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, all of them, they are just in the void world. I have no clue what's going on in the video game world. So, so you will get surprised when I don't know big name games like Uncharted. Tomb Raider is very old, so I remember it. I played the first one. And I didn't like the camera. Uh, so, the first one came out was, oh god. Oh god. Let's see if this thing will screw up. Nope, it didn't screw up. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me add it to the priority list and see if it screw up. Uh, PL add this guy crash burn oh it didn't crash good my only fear is it might try to print it and no it's not visible thanks god it ignored the invisible ones thanks god now we can access the sucker so this sucker is the MC we can refresh the dialogue in it thank you I will try to remove the printable and see how it will behave nice nice very nice I love my system already so the only thing that I need to create whenever I want to make a dialogue like the ones in the Mass Effect that I showed a few seconds ago and then closed because I'm an idiot is so I'm trying to make a Timberlake to make systems depends on the Timberlake it will make a dynamic uh, GUI system that I can access and feed it the, the dialogue data and it will generate the whole thing dynamically. So the only thing I need to deal with is this guy. And it will generate everything by itself. Hopefully. So now. The refresh dialog thing should create. The labels. And this guy only deal with four. At most. And we, we want to move this crap. We want to move this crap. And put it here. So the first thing is, I will try to delete from the priority list any component that have these names. Hmm. <sighs> Give me a second. Uh, we need the dialogues in here. Hmm. Wait, are you telling me the dialogue is... 
Oh yeah, there's an easy fix for that. There's an easy fix for that. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh wait, this is ugly. This is ugly because you have two types of dialogues. One that's made on the fly and that one that's made by reference. But hey, this is loaded from the file. It must be a reference. So there is no on the fly crap. Okay, okay. Other components can have on the fly crap. Not this guy. Not this guy. No, ah, uh, is JCD crap for you. All right. Just to remind myself, I don't need to correct this. So here. All right. So first of all, before we try to add these suckers, we will try to delete them if they exist. If PL contains a, uh, this is not the priority list itself. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Give me a second. This is a complicated matter. Complicated matter. Uh, by the way, I have uh, an Arabic game, playing game channel. And just yesterday I played Guilty Gear actually. I connected my PlayStation 3 controller. And I played the story. And it was a little bit wacky. I haven't played the game for a while, and the controller is a little bit, I don't know, weird. But I kind of won somehow. I kind of won. So if you're interested, I can list it. Uh, but I'm talking in Arabic in that channel. That's the only backdrop, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the PL. Okay, fix focus a little bit. Here we have a priority list, but this is a wrapper. For the list itself, the priority list that we need to access is this guy, this guy, the PAR, and public list. Okay, 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 okay. Priority list. I might not be able to access it because this thing is in a different project. But let's take a look. Um, get. What what was it again? Sorry. Priority list. Pri mm -hmm. Dang it. You will tell me blah 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 inaccessible blah blah blah. This guy is a priority list, right? And the priority class have a PAR, right? Oh, wait a minute. I want to access the sucker. Or we can add a delete command in here. Oh, let's use fine. Use, let's use fine. Let's use fine. Fine, fine. Let's use fine. Fine, fine. I'm fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Not fine. Me, me, fine. That guy, fine. ID plus CP1 is not no. Now, how can you delete my best sucker? Um. <laughs> fuck fuck damn it so we need to try to delete let's take a look uh, get first get last oh man I need to do this Java kind of Java 101 or Java 102 linked list deletion crap oh god fun fun Oh, 
Are you ready? I have six minutes only to... Where's the time, I think? Oh, I deleted it. Oh, well. I have six minutes till the next break. So, uh, let's see if we can do it in six minutes. <laughs> uh, crap. All right. I had deletion and addition and a crab before, but it screw up in one verses, and I made huge tables and stuff, and yeah, we could you reuse the fine thing? Can we? Can we? No. Hmm. So this is a reference for the first one. And we check if this one is the same one. We will say Bismillah by the name of God. So we found the sucker, right? We need the previous. We don't have a previous in the sucker. So, because we don't have a previous in the sucker, it's not double link list. Wow, how do I remember these crabs? Um, we need a reference for the previous. So, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, we need to make more conditions in here. So, we jumped, right? C is equal to C dot next. And at the end of this crap, BC is equal to C. If the object that we are deleting is equal the first one, then we need to assign the first to the second one. So we say here, Jesus Christ, if, yeah, this, this bring bad memories, I guess. <laughs> if the first sucker is the one we need, we need to delete, first sucker is the one we need to delete. We assign the first is equal to C dot next, and then we return. I hate you. And this one should be void. What now? Fuck you. No, seriously, fuck you. Why are you your focus? Okay, we need wait, wait. Is there a delete function in link list instead of doing this crap by myself? Yeah, but I, I want to use the, the ID, so okay, 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 okay. Remove first. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. If... Uh, 
B A R last value ID is equal to ID B A R remove last. Now we finish. Um, Uh, the edge cases we can focus on here. So if we find the sucker, and it shouldn't be the first one because we already deleted the first one, so the previous one must be assigned. And I fear he will complain because this one is not assigned. Uh, just for compiler bitching disorder. So if you find it here, yeah, the six minutes over and I didn't finish it, but we are close, we are close, we close, we close, we are close. Then bc dot next is equal to c dot next, right? Don't tell me it's free only. Mother of oh God, Jesus! That's why I deleted them. C sharp doesn't want you to make your own linked list or change the next and last and whatever. find so let's give it a try Let's just run it and if it crash, I will take a break and see what I can do. I didn't even, oh god, okay. Just make it, oh god, I cannot make it, just, mm. um. Yeah, you're not serious, are you? You're, you're not serious. I mean, you're, 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 you're not serious. There's a way, and I hate to do it. You'll find. You're, you're, you like to make my life miserable, don't you? Uh, 
Oh, fuck off. He uh, found this one. Then we need to call this guy a different name. Um. All right. No cashy, no cashy. So the only differences between before and now is instead of doing that in the constructor, we use the refresh. We are going to reuse this function to change the dialogue into another one. Because we have a dialogue system, if you are not aware already, why am I printing everything in here? Oh God. I need to find the console who is printing this sucker and delete all of them. Uh, what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. So we have a complicated system here to m support multiple languages, multiple crap. But it's easier to look at it from here. We have all the dialogues in here. So, with both languages. We are going to take a break. And... Yes, you can notice that my energy started to drop. And my passion started to drop and everything started to drop. But hey... Hey, hey, um, 150 minutes of programming already, that's almost three hours. And I said I will be happy if I finish three hours today because I didn't sleep yesterday. Mm, I got sleep, uh, synomia, synomia, I got whatever. Uh, and I want to finish six hours, so three hours more, 76 p.m. Screw me. So I'm going to take a walk for 10 minutes and return back and see what we will do after this.
So we had our walk and walk. Let's see who's on. I wonder if you guys know about Tekken 6 and Azazel. I love the fa the, the, the stage music. Uh, when I used to be a little bit younger. When was it Tekken 6? When was it? It wasn't that far, was it? 2001 or something? Tekken 5 when I was a little bit younger. Not Tekken 6. I used to be really good in Tekken, but not anymore. Ah, oh, yeah, 2007. Uh, oh, yeah, I was in that uh, at that time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to defeat uh, Golden Azazel. Not easily, but at least once a day. I was kind of depressed, couldn't find a work, got fired. Uh, couldn't continue the, 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 the college. It, it was a horrible time. Uh, 2008 to 2010 actually from 2006-2008 so I was playing games like never before but before that I didn't play any game for like four years or something uh, so as a Zell yeah I used to love to challenge him now whenever I return and fight him at very hard he beat me up easily I don't know why he hates me so much. He deflect, I reflect, and defend against any attack I do. But when my brothers try against him, he, they, they hit him easily. Like, what the hell? He doesn't deflect as much. Not even half as I do. The, the AI, it changes difficulties on how much you play with them somehow. And I believe it's the AI fault, the dynamic difficulty thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to praise myself too much. I'm thinking that I'm better than my brothers or whatever. So I actually have its music. Maybe I will play it a little bit. Because I don't think I will last more than three hours. Um, I, I think after two hours, my, all my energy will go bye-bye. Why am I here? Oh yes, I'm go I was going to play as a Zell. As, as, yeah. So we are going to play some music and let's make the computer detect the music from the computer in the OBS and let me know if it's too loud or too low or whatever. I love this one. I really love this one. So one minute left for the break. Let's ignore it and start working. So we are trying to finish this system. Maybe I need to lower the music a little bit because it will get really loud. Let me see. So we need to load a new dialogue in here. Let's try to do that. So this guy will try to delete them and add them again. And this guy should reload the dialogue. So what we are going to do. Wait, 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 wait. Who's going to call this? That's it? Hmm. I guess. So what we are going to do? 
in the game I and I we are trying to do something in here I might need the, the dialogue ID. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's a little bit complicated, isn't it? Um, who is going to call this guy? That's the first question. We have a tag, and someone need to call it. We just made a function to refresh the choices. So we need somehow, when I click on this guy, I am the controller who controlled the mouse, controller zero. We should send controller zero with extra data to change this dialogue. Actually it's invisible, this is the frame, but whatsoever. It's the mouse click. It's the freaking mouse click. Excuse me. The mouse click is a delegate. A delegate. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So here. When we do a constructor, we should do the delegates as well. In the menu component, the father, he doesn't do a crap. Okay, 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 okay. Let me the, see where, here, this is the delegate. We need to assign the delegate, let's see. So what we are going to do, Wow, this is crazy a little bit. Do you remember the guy who assigned the, the choices? He's the one who's going to assign the delegate to click on it as well. So here, in the refresh dialog, before we add it to the priority list, let's adjust them as well. This is dangerous. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Um, I thought it was the counter of the priority list. I was like, this is dangerous. What am I doing? No, this is the, the list that I'm creating here they will add it at the end okay 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 so here we can assign the mouse click okay in the mouse click um, screw me screw me screw me Where's the text box? The text box have a mouse in the initialized. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, said it will be smooth.
Now, how the hell do I know which controller we should assign to mouse one? Maybe on default it's controller zero, but I'm not sure. So, because this is a choice, it must have attack. And if it has attack, if it doesn't have attack, sorry, it should do a default thing, but we will do that later. We need to call the function of the choice tag. So, uh, this is a label, and this label is connected to a choice, and the choice is C. So, C. Um, wait, it have a list of choices. <sighs> I mean, list of functions. Now what? Do I activate all of them? I guess. Alright, whatever. For each. The most absurd for each ever. Action. No, 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 no. Action. Uh, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, controller. Wait, wait, wait. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you very much. Um, okay. So AK, how do I call it? I believe in book, right? I kind of forgot. Let's take a look on the creature object. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, I need to calm down. Controller zero. Where is it alive? It's alive in control manager or control. What the hell? Uh, control manager, maybe. Yeah, it's a list of controller. Okay. Can I have one? Please. I love you. What's wrong with you? Oh, it is a fucking game lover. Wait, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Wait, 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 wait. Um, it's a test game. Did I lost you already? Sorry about that. Then. Why I cannot access the fucking controller manager? Oh, there's a control manager. <laughs> yeah. Now this guy should invo invoke, 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 
whenever I uh, click on it with the mouse, right? 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 Let's go where? To the I9. And. God forgive me. God forgive me. I might need to send uh, the choice as well. Because. How can I reference to the dialogue that we want to change? Or even more importantly, we should send the I dialogue itself. That's a good idea. So let's go to the dialogues. Controller. I dialogue. So now we need to change everyone. So here we will send um, this. All right, because this is the dialogue that the dialogue template that we are working on. Um, will it cash? Will it cash? Will it cash? This guy. We are sending this guy in the action. So let's go to the action and say D. Next dialogue. What's the new dialogue? The fucking tag itself. So we have the dialogue's names, only the name here. So we need to t send part of the tag of the choice. Controller doesn't work. No, no, the class name. I have um, a controller system. It's a mess of many classes in here. And some of them start with controller and some of them start with control. And you, you can't imagine the rest of the fiasco. But no, joysticks are, does work, no worry. So what we were saying, we need to send the rest of the tag itself. Start working, start working. So we are going to the dialog and we are going to send string. Oh, let's send it at the end. Well, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, if I don't get excited, I cannot work fast, I guess. I've been working three hours today and I haven't slept well. And uh, if I want to keep going, I must fuel the heart, you know. So, where were we? Alright. I mean, look at this mess. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, string and the guy who created them and the mouse click this thing this engine is so customizable that someday I'm going to make it accept more than one mouse and do a lot of crap I don't know I mean later on I can instead using the mouse click use the joystick to actually I need to do that damage why did you remind me? This is not enough. Later on I need to fire them with the joystick too. And the keyboard. Let me type that down before I forget. Uh, passions for the young. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Uh, when you get older, uh, you need drive. Passion is not enough. Actually, you cannot generate passion at that time. 
I might need a combo box. Text crop. There is an Arabic game jam in a month. It's September 2. And I wanna enlist it in it with my engine. And I'm trying my best to make it ready for that. I need the prize money, after all. <laughs> I don't think I will win, but if I win, that will pay some of my debt. So we are trying to implement the choices tag. Fire the choices tag with mouse click. With keyboard joystick. So when I use the keyboard and the joystick, it will be easier to determine who is the first player because I didn't assign the mouse for which player yet. Uh, so we we are kind of close. We're kind of close. So what we were doing, I forgot. String. Now this part is a little bit iffy because we have the tag in here but we don't need the first word we need the second word only so let me try to do that So, um, int k is equal to zero, string, uh, tag result is equal to empty, share function, token, s, ref k, uh, empty space, TR is equal to this. Actually, semicolon in here. And we need to send TR. Screw you, dude. What now? Oh, yes. I need to send the dialogue. This is dangerous. Mm. Yeah, I need to do a huge mess when I uh, load all the dialogues from different campaigns when campaign is impli campaign dialogues is implemented you need to fix the next one uh, game core dictionary dialogue uh, Current game, dialogue dictionary, TR. All right. Oh, dude, seriously. Uh, P, let's make it P. No, P, I never use P, it will look weird. K1. Where were we? Okay. Figured. Um, um, I need to send the choice tag. No, 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 not the choice tag. The choice tag will be the whole thing. Did I screw myself? Yeah, I screwed myself. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I screwed myself heavily. Um, Um, 
the system accept more than one tag so this one will accept five but all of them are saved in one tag this guy and we need to send the part of this guy in other words we need a separate list to uh, hold each function its own tag so this guy you see there's a list of actions I'm afraid we might need to change it into a dictionary no dictionary will consist of key and then a value we we need to make a tuple maybe all right let's make another list Where does name over? So we need to initialize the sucker. So let's make it, let's make it. Um, public tag AR avoid. So let's make a tokenizer. Actually, it will do something similar to this guy. No, 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 just this. And here we will do a tag function tag. Okay, I'm going to close the screen for a few seconds because I'm going to go to uh, an evil code that I don't want anyone to see. Give me a second. And let's put this one to anger the haters. And we are going to call this tag AR in several places. And some places are evil. I don't want you to see them. Very evil. It hurts the innocence. All right, we are over. All right. There are something bu bugs me still. So here we need to change this one into for, for int i.
and this one will be tab value tag function tag no tag ah sorry about that public list string get tag function tag the most absurd name ever I'm interested in the code now why is that <laughs> so Star Lord is interested in the code for some reason where are we so this one get function Ah, don't, don't. Pray to whatever God you worship. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Um, uh, menu. Let's see. Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Dang it. Where were we? <laughs> oh, the evil side, eh? Oh, man. Yeah. I know what I mean. This part didn't work. Let me guess. We forgot to call the code because we removed it. Silly fucking you. Silly fucking you. Oh, we. This is the second music. Let me start from the beginning. This one is a little bit calmer, so we can raise the voice a little bit or the sound. Delete. Great. Nothing happened. Oh. Hmm. Uh, let me think. I believe we almost there. We almost there. The only thing that's left is to print them again. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, my tone changed with the music, kind of. How do I refresh? Ah, fresh helper. Is that the thing? I guess, yeah. So, we go to the game I and I. The not the um, yeah, yeah, D. Why cannot I do that? Because it's an interface. But this is a menu component function. Mm. 
Não? Ok, think for a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. Hmm. It's a virtual function. Okay, okay, think for a few seconds. Who need to fresh? Printables? And dialogues, okay. So we need to go to um, both interfaces and force it to do that. Great. Didn't work. Didn't work. All right, so step by step once again, and let's see what the heck is going on. So this is the initialize. Screw the initialize. We don't care about the initialize. Didn't do anything. This is the call. Hmm. Why the first one didn't do anything? So we invoked it. We sent the dialogue. Man, all of a sudden I start to feel tired. But I need to keep pushing. And uh, this one said this function tag number zero. Oh, so this one, what the hell? Only one? That's silly. So for some fucking reason, the first one not detected, the second one is detected, the third one is not detected. So we have one problem. So we have, we need to change it to NBC 1K3 to this one. This one has no choices. Alright. So, we have the string, the dialogue, and we are going to ignore the first word, dialogue. And as you can see, we wanna make this one called, or catch, with the tokenizer, the second uh, word, which is MBC1K3. This is the ID for the next dialogue. So here, NBC 1K3. So this bot worked. Now we need to call this function, which we were working on for more than an hour. Which is part of this idiot. So we have a new dialogue from the dictionary and it should have oh what's wrong hopefully things will get better so if you take a look on the dialogues here he said good day how are you if you choose the first choice which is good how about you but no this is the second choice not good it could be better so the answer will be oh what's wrong hopefully things will get better so here it's the right uh, dialogue we captured or got the reference off. So we are assigning the, this guy to it and then we need to refresh. So the refresh will change. All right. Oh, I didn't need to do the refresh helper at all because 
this guy already done this. So actually this one is redundant. Okay, why it didn't work? Oh man, why am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid? Give me a second. This component dialogue doesn't matter. We need its frame dialogue. So what we are going to do, and the frame name is the same of my name with if. So we are going to do pl find id id dialogues come on i don't have the whole day don't fuck with me oh fucking a Let's return menu fucking component. I print above. Set dialog. Um, is it true? Is it um, JCD? Wait, JCD for what? Stands for what? Ah. Let's go to the frame. Is it true or false? I forgot. Is it on the fly or not? Is that case and only take a reference? So if it is a JCD, then we take the reference as it is. Okay, it is. So it is true. Uh, so this one true. A D. Then we need to. Actually, we can save this one in the reference. So instead of doing fine more than once, we do it only once. But screw me, screw the code, screw big O. I don't care about everyone. Refresh help. But, 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 we need to refresh the uh, this thing oh wait doesn't that thing set the dialogue of no okay one thing left uh, the choices No, we need to change both guys' dialogues. Okay, okay, okay. This one and this one. Great, let's take a look. What will happen? Freaking nothing happened. Oh! Oh. Oh, actually it's printed here, but it's the color is fucking unbearable. Um... Uh, yeah, the fucking unbearable, fucking unbearable. Let's make it black or red. I don't know. I don't know. I need it readable. I don't care. Let's make it green or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's make the font a little bit bigger too. Um, save. Let's see if the font is readable now or not. 
Oh yeah. Uh, the word is not wrapped. So what we need to do? A refresh helper. Uh, give me a second. Where is the frame? Wait, wait. So... There you go. So we made the word for apps. Okay, we need to solve only one fucking problem and we will finish the task. Why the other guys didn't detect their tags? So let's take a look. Man, this is awful, a lot of work, but hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth it. So the guy who take the tags and do the whole thing so we have the dictionaries here for the dialogues come on give me the result so we have NBC 1k oh and this one have Three choices. C1, C2, C3. Alright. So, this guy has three choices. Number one. Number one. I don't know how the Chinese do that. It doesn't matter. I love my sector. Uh, so, this is the first one. Yeah, I missed that guy. So serious, so smart. Uh, NBC, so this is the right one. Do we have a tag? Yes, we have a tag. Then why did you screw with me? So the first part is... Well, Oh yeah, let's take the first word. Is it dialogue? Yes, it is dialogue. So we take the choice. Which has good, how about you? And we add a tag. So if we return... Wait. No, there is no other uh, tag. So we return here. So you see, this is the choices, right? Right? This is here. Does we have... Tag. We have a tag. Do we have a function? Yeah, we have a function. Thank you. Do we have a function? Yes, we have a function. Do we have a tag? Uh, sorry. Uh, the second one. Do we have a function? Yes, we have a function. Third one. Do we have a function? No, because we didn't assign it yet. So, so far so good. Glad to hear that. Uh, but... Oh, the font is fucking ugly again. What's wrong with the choices colors? Oh, I see what's going on because this window is not active. It's not the first window. Uh, the first window that's active and focused on is invisible. So I need to click on it twice. 
So actually, everything is fine except the font is so damn ugly, and I don't know why. So this one font is this one. This one should be gold, but I don't see any gold. This one is the only one that's visible. Oh yeah, I cannot fucking eh. I cannot copy this because it's negative. It's pure negative. It's unsigned. I don't know why the colors are not clear. I need to 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 to, to, to fix that. Um, most of the colors, as you can see, doesn't work. So I need to find, figure out what's wrong with the colors. But not now, not tomorrow, not today. Someday. Good. How about you? Glad to hear that. Even though I put it green, it became blue. Hoo hoo. And the second one, not good, it could be better. Oh, what's wrong? Hopefully things will get better. As you can see, there's still a few issues. It doesn't remove the first one, I wonder why. Um, this game, no, uh, this one. So here, it should delete the first one. Oh, does it start from zero? I believe it's stuck from zero. And let's tell him to get lost. Respect your elder bar. So we finished this task. This task, this ta these tasks, either this sentence or that sentence. So implement the choice tags, implement, make choices, return a dialogue. All of these are hoo hoo, we've done with them. Add a tag delegate to generate in the beginning hoo hoo, we finish this one. Reload the new dialogue and the dialogue, this one is done too. Make a dialogue MC that do things dynamically. An example for that, which is we have one. Uh, support up to four choices. As I said, this is a game, a game engine and you can make templates to any kind of uh, choices dialogues. You can make something similar to Morrowind. So in Morrowind, every keyword that you know, you can ask the guys about it, anyone on the world, and he will return an answer. And you see, there's a huge list. And every time he says something, you see the blue keywords. So we can make a dialogue template sim, sim, uh, similar to this one, where you have the keywords and when, uh, when you click on them, or like... Uh, Shadow Runner, Shadow Run from the SNES. It have a similar uh, dialogue system, and you have a list box and all of caps. So it's up to me or to the guy who make the template how the choice uh, box is implemented. So as you can see, so we need to make uh, if there's no choices, we need a key or a choice get generated. To close the dialogue even though you can close it from here maybe I need to change the frame and make the frame unclosable so we need to make a new frame and change this frame into that frame you see how the system works it use other templates and make its own very beautiful very beautiful so this is only an example to the future games if I want to really make things I need to just do something similar to this so it doesn't mean that I should be lazy and not finish the example so let's try to add the task but to be honest I'm way too tired now four hours for today and today I thought it would never work 
That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. So yeah, I need to do combo box, list box, tracker. God, making these will be a lot of fun and anger and rage. So here, no, 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 no. And dialogue. If there is no more choices left, make a default choice to close the dialog box. Oh, actually delete. I... Depends on the game once again. If it is heavily, uh, it's used the dialog thing heavily, it should turn it off and use the same one over and over. So this one is not done. I don't know, maybe tomorrow I will work on it. Or maybe ignore it completely because I could add another tag in here that close the dialogue. So there are two ways to do it. So either in here I add one choice to close the dialogue with a different sentence and add one in each. I need to do a scrollable label. There's a lot of things I need to do. At the end of this week, I need to start working on other stuff to make the game engine ready for the game jam. So I might start working on something else. But for now, for now, I'm not going to bore you forever with my talk thank you for watching and support and everything and see you next oh wait i need to fix the color yeah i need to fix the color of the dialogue see you next time